Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build in the BA-20. This had a crew of three. Dimensions you can see on screen now has a length of 4.31 meters. Not a very big vehicle. Its role was an armored car and the number built is not available. I couldn't find any information for that. Armaments include one 7.62 DTMG machine gun and armor at max was 10 millimeters thick. Uh, you can see an engine here, one gas engine, 50 horsepower total. Performance at a max speed of 85 kilometers per hour, but that's about it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Care2 here, here bringing you another Minecraft War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead to redesign my design for the BA-20. This here is a armor card that was developed by the Soviet Union in 1934. It was intended to replace the FAI, and its field trials were completed in 1935. Uh, the BA-20 was then used in the early stages of World War II, and that was uh, pretty much it. Uh, the armament on this thing was pretty uh, pretty sad, only armed with a 7.62mm uh, machine gun. Uh, it was mainly intended to be uh, for HQ staff car uh, usage, uh, reconnaissance, and communication units. Uh, overall, it wasn't intended to be a heavily um, you know, armored or heavily... Uh, you know, battle-oriented vehicle, more of kind of a, uh, you know, utility vehicle that's a little bit armored up to protect uh, officials or, you know, again, do some reconnaissance and stuff like that. Be able to survive some smaller fire in case they actually ran into a situation like that. Uh, so it's definitely not intended to be spearheading any, uh, you know, operations or anything like that, that's for sure. Uh, but it's still a very uh, interesting vehicle and definitely is uh, unique and always cool to kind of have these little armored cars and all that stuff because personally I love armor cars I think they're pretty cool and uh, you know they're kind of uh, overshadowed by the tanks and all that stuff so it's good to kind of go ahead and do a little bit but um, there's not a whole lot of history on this vehicle just that you know what it did and served and all that stuff and um, all that stuff anyways uh, let's go ahead and take a look now at the uh, vehicle we'll go ahead and uh, start off by uh, taking a look here uh, at the front uh, you can see they got the front up here the front headlights the bumper in the front all that stuff um, the fenders all that uh, looks real nice. Uh, the hood across the uh, the front up there, uh, pretty nice. And then coming along the back here, you can see uh, your um, section here. This is where the, where the driver and obviously the passenger would be uh, pretty much uh, located. Uh, you can see here I put these item frames down on your side here just to kind of fill this space in. Because originally I had the half slab here and that wasn't really working out too much for me. And plus I felt clean stairs there was a little bit too small up downstairs. So I went ahead and kind of figured uh, I could do something that kind of looks like this and it actually kind of works. Uh, it's not perfect or ideal but uh, it kind of does what I want to do and uh, definitely works for uh, what I'm trying to do and of course Minecraft implementation sometimes can be a pain uh, but I think it actually works out pretty decently this time so uh, that's pretty nice there. Uh, come on the back here nothing too fancy just the siding on the back here some fenders all that stuff over here. On the back you get the rear kind of bumper spare tire brake lights. Um, one thing that's interesting about this vehicle is it had this kind of like um, line that ran all the way around, like this little rack system. Not 100% sure what its exact purpose is, but it is there, so I went ahead and included it. Of course, it can be easily removed or, um, you know, added on. Uh, I'll show you guys how to uh, go about doing that uh, when we get to it. And we also have the turn on the top here with the 7.62 millimeter machine gun and all that stuff. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for the BA-20, a very uh, nice kind of simplistic armored car. Uh, but definitely is pretty cool and again will make pretty much a uh, awesome addition to uh, the Soviet line of vehicles that we currently have. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for this uh, little overview and we can go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 1. Now for layer 1, we're going to go ahead and start off by pretty much getting our wheelbase set up and all that stuff. And uh, then we're going to be pretty much able to move about and get stuff done. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take some nerve or some nerve brick stairs. We're going to place down... Uh, two basically back to back like this and this can be for the front wheel right up here of course in the front of the vehicle uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the second stair right here we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs across like that followed by another brick stair upside down on the side there and the one that goes forward so you get something that kind of looks like that you have your axle and then your wheels on your side like that we're then going to place down one stone brick top slab coming out toward the front here and then for the front bumper we're going to place down a row of five of stone top slabs all the way across like that Going ahead and going back uh, from this uh, stone break top side of the center, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, just six stone break top sides back. On your six stone break top side, we're gonna place down a stone break top side on your side, and again, you're gonna take your nerve break stairs, place down one like this and one on the back of it, 
and same thing over here one in the back and one like this so if you go ahead and look at it from above we should have stuff that looks just like this for your wheelbase so far for the vehicle now with that all finished uh we can go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab going toward the back here and we're just going to place down a row of uh five here of dark oak with top slabs that goes all the way across like so we also want to go ahead and go to the space in between these uh these uh stairs here these uh uh, never break up downstairs. We're also going to place down a row of five of dark oak with top stabs uh, going across just like that to kind of fill in the space. So you can set that kind of looks just like that. Once you guys have that all done, we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much be done with that layer. That's pretty much it. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. Now, for layer two, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking our uh, never break stairs. We're just going to place down two stairs back to back on top of these two upside down stairs. Uh, just like that, you're going to go ahead and pretty much do this for all the wheels all the way around. And it's going to pretty much just create your nice uh, circular wheels that we want to have. So something that looks just like that. Once you guys have that all finished, we want to go ahead and go up to the front here. And uh, across, the, uh, across the space in between these first two stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay. It goes all the way across just like that. Now on the front here, we're going to place down a dark oak with half step in the center. Followed by a dark oak with stair facing this direction. Just like that. So it's back facing toward the outsides there. And then come off of this nerve brick stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. So you get something that kind of looks like that. You have your corner stairs and your, your dark oak wood stairs on the sides there. So something just like that. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go in between these nerve brick stairs, place down a row of three. We then want to go ahead and take our green stain clay, place down a row of five. We then want to place down a row of three of green stain clay, followed by a dark oak wood half stab on either side. We're going to follow it up, placing down another row of three of green stain clay. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of uh, three here of spruce wood uh, planks. We're just going to kind of fill the space in. Uh, there's really no space for interior, but if you want to kind of show that there's something in here, you can go and leave this space open. Other than that, there's not much space, so you won't really be able to do much with it. Now, on the sides here of these uh, spruce wood planks, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign like this on your side. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of five of um, green stained clay, followed by a sign on either side of that row of five, like that. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a uh, row of three here in, in between these uh, brick stairs, followed by a second row of three, like that. We're then going to place down a row of three on, on the back here, like this, followed by a dark liquid stair on either side. We then want to go ahead and take our zombie heads, place down one on each of these dark liquid stairs on the back here, and taking our end rods, we're just going to place down a row of three in between these zombie heads, just like that to fill in the back, or make it kind of like a back, back bumper looking thing, uh, just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer 2. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 3. Alright guys, so for our next layer here, we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, going to the very front of our vehicle up here. We're going to go ahead and place down a green stain clay block in the very center, followed by a ladder that comes off of it, followed by a dark liquid stair, I like that, on your side, like that. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our uh, green carpet, place down uh, two green carpets on top of these uh, nerve brick stairs, just like that. Then uh, we want to go ahead and place down uh, two spruce wood planks on the side here, and then two over here as well. And in the space in between here, we're just going to place down a row of two of green stained clay blocks. Just go ahead and kind of fill that space in like so. Now also on the front right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame. Come off these two dark oak wood stairs with a glass block in the item frame. And then on that dark oak wood stair that the item frame is on, we're just going to go ahead and place down a sign like this to make it look a little bit nicer. And those are going to pretty much create your front headlights there, um, just like that. Going ahead and building back, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three green stained clay. Uh, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buns, and we're going to place down a stone bun like this on either side, like that. We then want to place down another row of three of uh, green stained clay. We're then going to place down a spruce wood plank here on either side, followed by a row of three of green stained clay, a second row of three, a third row, and then a fourth row back, just like that. On top of these uh, narrow brick stairs here, we're going to place down two dark oak with half sabs. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. And actually on the back here, we're actually going to go ahead and break that row of three that goes across here. And we're going to leave it uh, like that for right now. Uh, you also want to go ahead and go to this uh, spruce wood plank here. We're going to place down a sign on it, like this on your side. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, wooden pressure plate. And on top of this green stained clay block here, we're going to place down a wooden pressure plate on either side. Now going ahead and moving to the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on each of these dark oak wood half slabs here. And in that uh, dark oak, or in the item frame, actually, we're going to place down a red stained west block there for the brake lights. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some narrow brick stairs again. We're going to place down an upside down one here on the left side, followed by an upside down stair coming off of it like that in the center. So you should get something that kind of looks like that. 
and then pretty much taking our signs here we're just going to go ahead and wrap our signs around uh, these narrow brick stairs like that and this will be the, kind of like the first part there for the spare tire on the back and of course you guys can pick and choose if you don't want the spare tire or if you guys want to add it uh, completely up to you guys but we're going to go ahead and put the spare tire on just to match our design that we have over there and that guys is going to pretty much do it for your uh, third layer and with that we can go ahead and move on to uh, layer 4. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to this green snake block with the ladder on it. We're going to place a tiny stone button going up like that. On top of these uh, spruce wood planks here, we're going to place down two green carpets. So it's just like that on both sides. We then want to go ahead and uh, continue back. We're going to go ahead and come back to this section here. So the second row of three right here. We're going to place down a green snake wood block in the center there. Followed by a dark oak wood top slab on either side of that green stankway full block like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak with top slab, or sorry, row three of dark oak with top slabs, so you kind of get something that looks like that for the shaping. Now once you have that done, we're going to place down an item frame on this uh, first dark oak with uh, top slab like that on your side. And we also want to go ahead and place down a zombie head here. Now we're going to place down a placer block to place the zombie head on top of. And we're going to go ahead and place the zombie head so it's slanted a little bit, or it's kind of looking a little bit toward the uh, this uh, little viewport here and we can go ahead and get over to this side and do the same exact thing so just like that and those are going to be pretty much your side mirrors uh, for the vehicle uh, so something just like that and then on the bottom of this we're going to place down a lever and have it flicked upwards so it looks like it connects up to the head and it makes a, a little um, side mirror now with that finished we want to take our green snakeway blocks we're going to place down a row three that goes across if you guys want to if you guys want to have the soviet star on this thing which you guys can perfectly um, have <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of red stain clay and then or you can make a row of three of green stain clay if you want to have the star or not we're then going to place down a row of three of green stain clay that goes all the way across uh, just like this now once you have that done on top of these two narrow brick up sound stairs we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like that and uh, that's pretty much good to go with that now if you guys want to have this uh, thing equipped with these uh, with this little railing system that kind of goes around I'll show you guys how to do that next now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go basically on top of this uh, stone button right here. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron bar just like that. Going over to this side, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process. We're going to place down an iron bar, something just like that. So you create uh, those kind of front little supports there for it. And theoretically, they would be a little bit angled and connect up, connecting up to our right about here. Unfortunately, in Minecraft, we can't do that, but you can imagine that that's what we're trying to go for. Now, cut off this green stakeway block here, we're going to place down another iron bar. And then come off this dark oak stair, we're going to place down an iron bar as well. Going over to this side, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process. Iron bar like that. And over here, an iron bar kind of come off the corner. So you get something that kind of looks uh, just like that all the way around. And again, that's only if you guys want to have this rack on the top here. If you guys could care less about having it, you don't need to place those iron bars. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for uh, layer 4. And with that, we can go ahead and we'll just go ahead and move on to our last final layers, uh, layers 5 and 6. And we'll be able to go ahead and finish this build off. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so moving on to our last final layers. Now one thing I quickly realized was that we can't actually uh, place down these zombie heads on top of these, uh, uh, actually, we can on top of the iron bars. I actually thought there for a second that we couldn't do that. Well, we're in luck, guys. Uh, so if you went ahead and had the iron bars set around to place this rack around, we're going to go ahead and place down these zombie head, um, kind of at an angle here. We want to try to go for like a 45 degree angle. Uh, that would be ideal. Maybe a little bit of trial and error to get it, but you want something that looks like that for the zombie head. And same thing over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down if one at a 45 degree angle just like that. Now in between those zombie heads, we're going to go ahead and crouch, place down a row three of end rods that go across just like that. Now on top of these iron bars right here, we're going to place down a zombie head. Uh, make sure that it's not angled. You want it to be perfectly straight just like that. And then come off of the uh, 45 degree zombie head up there. We're going to place down two uh, end rods going back just like that to connect up. Now back here, we're going to do the same thing we did in the front here. So we're going to go ahead and basically put in uh, some 45 degree angle um, zombie heads. Uh, just like that. Not that one. That's not exactly 45. So something just like that. Then we want to go ahead and crouch again. We're going to take our end rods. We're going to place down one and two. Same thing over here. One and two. And then going across here. One, two. Oops, my bad. Two and three across. To basically make this top portion here. So you should get something that kind of looks like that, that goes all the way around. Now for the uh, actual kind of structure here of the vehicle, put the turn on. We're going to place down uh, a row of two here, green carpet, one green carpet on top of that green stinkway block, and then two over here on top of those top slabs. We then want to go ahead and place down a green stinkway full block right here, followed by a dark oak wood stair on either side, which we'll just go ahead and grab from right here. 
So Dark Rook would stay like this on your side, and then a uh, Enrod coming off that Green Stink would block there in the center. With that done, we're then going to go and take a Green Stink Quick, place down a row of three. And then we're going to place down a Green Stink Quick block in the center there, followed by a Mossy Cobblestone Wall in the corners, kind of form a little bit more of a circular shape, something just like that. On top of this Green Stink Quick block, we're going to place down a Dark Rook with Half Sab. On the uh, side of the Half Sab, we're going to go and place down a Zombie Head, and then one right here. And then one right there kind of going around it like that to kind of shape it a little bit better for uh, this little portion that kind of pops up on the uh, back portion there of the turret. Anyways, once you guys have that all finished, that's going to pretty much do it for the BA-20 armored car. Uh, pretty awesome design. I think it came out pretty good. It's uh, definitely a uh, funky looking uh, little armored car, but uh, definitely a cool addition to whatever you guys got going on. Armor cars definitely were important, and um, it's good to definitely have them around uh, as basically combat support or reconnaissance vehicles, as this one was pretty much intended to be. Uh, pretty much up to you guys. The possibilities are really endless. Um, anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you guys do like the design. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a side of the build to link to my channel or this video if there's any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to produce these tutorials. So again, I ask if you guys uh, do use this design please give me credit for it and that you guys are free to go crazy with the design and uh you know just uh enjoy it and that guys thank you guys so much for watching as always for like comment and subscribe this has been good before and i'll see you guys next time